Hello, Rolando. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Jose, welcome. It's a pleasure, Jose. Jose, sorry. thank you. Thank you, okay. teacher. <laughs> okay, you're always happy, right? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, okay. it's positive. I was reading in the in the group that some of you working for Holcim, right? Uh, yes, okay, yes. Nice. I hope everything is okay. Espero que todo les salga bien con lo de la inscripción, eh? Ya, te, ya tengo las, las, las páginas ya impresas. Ah, nice. Ya, nice. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Excellent. teacher. Excellent. Oscar, Luis Enrique, welcome. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Good How evening. are you? I'm fine. Good evening, okay. Oscar. Good evening. It's a pleasure to have you in my class again, right? Now, uh huh, yes. Question. My, teacher. My... Hi, teacher. Hi. My wife, my, mi esposa lo conoce usted. Ah, okay. Larisa. Larisa. Oh, me suena. Eh, is... Don't you remember, teacher? Larisa, Larisa. Eh, Please play the, the oh, okay, Larissa. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Excuse. Hello, teacher. Okay. Eh, ahora está con otro teacher, Larissa. <laughs> yes, sí, yes, ah, yes, okay. yes. Come on. Bye, teacher. Bye, Nice to care. see you. You too. Ciao. It's a pleasure. <laughs> excellent. Yes, I remember. Larissa is an excellent student. Yes. Yes. I, it's an it's an excellent. <laughs> <laughs> like Luis, right? I know it. I know it. <laughs> okay. Good. So welcome everybody. Welcome Jose Liceo. Welcome Alexander. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Welcome. Now, let's just start with the with the platform. We're going to to review the the pronunciation of simple past ending, right? The pronunciation of simple past ending. And we're going to see the videos in Bucaru, right? Bucaru. Let me see. Vamos a ver quiénes enviaron el audio. Ajá. Tan, 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 tan. <laughs> okay, but first let's... Buenísimo. Let's, let's, let's uh, practice the, the video first, right? W. Wait. D. Past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in T. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in D. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a T, D, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Okay, in this case, uh, he is... Uh, Paying attention in the in the last sound of the verb, right? El último sonido del verbo. Watch, sh, 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 right? And turn. The last sound. El último sonido de este verbo es en, en, sh, en, sh, en, right? So there are many forms to practice the to recognize the voiceless and the voice sound, right? Hay varias formas de reconocer cuando el sonido es voceado y, y no es voceado. Voceado porque usamos las cuerdas vocales, right? The first one is, like, like he said, right? Like, put the two fingers on the throat like this, right? 
up with the hand, the hand or the finger, right? And then you say, ch, ch, ch. and the other one, and, 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 right? Okay. In one sound, you hear vibration, right? Jose Liceo, ¿en cuál de los dos escucha usted una, o siente usted una vibración aquí? En el sh, o en el en, 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 en. Very good. So that is voice. Ese sonido es voceado, right? Y cuando es voceado, vamos a usar el sonido de d, d. Torn, turned. Y en el otro, watch, sh, 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 que no es voceado, vamos a usar el sonido de t. Watch, watch, okay? Good. There is another form, right? Hay otra forma. You put your hands on your on your ears like this, right? Puedes conectar un ratito y vean qué es lo que voy a hacer. Okay, do it, please. Do it. Put your hands on your ears like this, right? <laughs> Come on. Put your hands. Okay, now repeat after me. En. En. Okay, good. Now, hands up. Very good. Now, you see the difference? Rolando, ¿en cuál escuché usted una vibración? Ya, ya se puede quitar los brazos, Rolando. Okay. ¿En cuál? <laughs> ¿Cuál es? N. No, no me voy a quedar toda la clase ahí, ¿verdad? <risa> en el N, ajá. Very good. En el N se ve yes. como una vibración. Eso es porque eh, en, oímos cuando la, las cuerdas vocales vibran, right? Mm, como, una, como una guitarra. En. Tring. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que se llama voice. En voiceless, right? Sigamos viendo el video. Watch. Turn. Watch. Turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. He's referring to the last sound, right? Él se está refiriendo al último sonido. El ch y el n, right? N, okay? This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. So, note here, watch. Torn, right? In this case, clean. Work. Watched. Clean state, right? Los sonidos que están aquí son no voceados y estos que están aquí son voceados, right? ¿Ok? Y hay un tercer grupo que están, eh, que terminan en sonido de T y D. ¿Ok? We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Land has the sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped. Looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have voice sound. L, N, 
R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay, now we're going to listen to the audio, right? The audio was this, right? Lo que van a hacer en el audio es leer todos estos verbos con la pronunciación correcta. Like this, right? Wanted, needed, helped, looked, watched, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, right? Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, Followed, enjoyed, amazed. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que vamos a grabar. Vamos a ver quién me lo hizo. Uh, ¿Ok? Ah. No me parecen cargados. Vamos a ver. Error del sistema. <risas> My goodness. Y ahora cómo sé quién me lo mandó. <risas> Ok, ¿cómo le hago? Vamos a ver, no, no, no sé, ¿no? We, we promise tomorrow. Ah, ok. Yes. Yeah, I promise tomorrow, teacher. Yes, yes. Entonces, no ha fallado el sistema, nadie me lo envió entonces. No, teacher. No, teacher. Come on, what uh, well. Ok, good. But you know how to do it, right? Pero saben cómo hacerlo, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes, teacher. Solo, no me van a decir las yes. letras, no me van a decir las letras, solo los verbos. Yes. Pero teacher, son... tengo una pregunta, perdón. Yes, tell me, Entonces, tell me. lo que nosotros, sí, hoy en la tarde yo intenté entrar a Bucarú, pero Ajá. no entendía cómo subirlo a, a, la, a la plataforma. Ah. Ahora entiendo que lo que tenemos que poner es el link. Entonces, solo el link, yes. Ajá, solo el link. Ah, okay. Lo vamos Perfecto. a hacer ahorita, lo vamos a hacer Perfecto. ahorita. Pero lo que van a grabar ustedes es estos verbos. No las letras mm -hmm. ni nada más, ¿verdad? Voy sound, use the book. No, nada de esto. Solo los verbos, así. En línea, corridos. Y van a empezar con wanted. Wanted, needed. Y luego se pasan a estos. Helped, looked, watched, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Siempre se oye el sonido del té, ¿verdad? Ok, y aquí el sonido de D. Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Ok, eso van a hacer. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Nos vamos aquí eh, a Bucarú. Ponemos en San Google, Bucarú. Y le damos enter, ¿ok? Cuando ya estemos en Bocarú, le damos clic en grabar. Ya, <coughs> do, 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 do. <coughs> Preparados ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, si quieren, en un papelito copian, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se llaman los verbos? Y ya listos para pronunciarlos. Empiezan, ¿verdad? Wanted, needed, folded, ¿ah? Cuando ya han grabado todo el listado, le dan a este mismo botón. No le van a dar al, al pausa, sino que en este mismo botón. Y ahí para la grabación. Ahí paro ya. Ya está guardado, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Entonces le van a dar aquí donde dice guardar y compartir. Pueden probarlo aquí, ¿verdad? Quiero ver si puedo hacerlo. Wanted. Needed. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Ahí está ya. Entonces le doy guardar y compartir. Cuando ya me haya dado guardar y compartir, tienen dos formas para, 
copiar el link. O sombrean esto aquí, que es lo que yo hacía antes. ¿Verdad? Lo sombrean. Y le dan copiar. ¿Sí? Sombrearlo y darle copiar. O se van aquí a la par en cuadrito. Como doble cuadrito ahí. No sé si lo alcanzan a ver. ¿Sí? Entonces le dan ahí clic. Y ya está. El enlace se copió, dice. Entonces regresamos a la plataforma. Nos vamos aquí donde dice Add Post. Add Post, right? Aquí ponen su bello nombre. ¿Verdad? Yo voy a poner Javier. Y aquí abajo le dan al clic derecho en su mouse, ¿verdad? O en el, en el pad, en la computadora. Y le dan pegar. Ya está. Ya está pegado, ¿verdad? Y entonces tengo yo aquí en preview, en, en, el que aparece en colorcito celeste, ya, ya me lo guardo aquí, ¿ves? Entonces le doy doble clic y ya me lo abre, ¿ves? Wanted, needed, folded. Ajá. Cuando ya he grabado todo el listado, le dan a este mismo. Ok, ahí estamos. Ya, ya, ya lo guardamos, ¿verdad? So, do you understand? ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Ayer lo explicamos, pero quizá muy rápido, yes, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> ok. Eh, quiero ver sus grabaciones aquí y vamos a ver si nos alcanza el tiempo en la otra clase de escucharla, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre este tema? Ya vimos los verbos regulares. El, oraciones afirmativas. Ya vimos los verbos irregulares. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo usar el pasado simple? Con los verbos regulares e irregulares. Y en los verbos regulares vimos las la, la reglas de escritura y las reglas de pronunciación. ¿Ok? Ya estamos completitos ahí, ¿verdad? Y um, vimos que en las oraciones afirmativas cambiamos el verbo al pasado. ¿Perdón? Pero en las, en las preguntas y en las negativas, ahí no. No se cambia el verbo. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que vamos a ver ahora. ¿Ok? Give me a second. Here, right? En el 4.11. 4.11. Aquí vamos a comenzar. Ok. El 4.9 no lo hemos hecho, ¿verdad? Quiero ver. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Solo alguien preguntó, teacher, la vez pasada sobre algo de él. De este, sí, ¿verdad? Pero lo hicimos, me acuerdo. Sí. Sí, yes, sí, 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 explicó, sí, sí. explicó sí, sí. allí que, cómo así va a ser. Ok, good. Pero sí, eh, hay alguien más que quizás no estuvo en esa clase que tenga problemas con eso, solo son tres. One, two, three. No, son más. No, está fácil. <risa> ¿Lo podría explicar? Más, ok, lo vamos a explicar, lo vamos a explicar, ok. Eh, aquí sí lo que, no, lo que no entiendo es por qué se pone una pregunta, pero bien, eh, es simple. Van a poner el auxiliar del pasado, sim, del pasado simple, ¿verdad? Hay tres auxiliares, el do, el das y el did. Entonces ustedes cojan uno de estos tres. No me, van a, no me respondan ahorita, pero... ¿Cuál de estos tres se usa en el pasado? ¿Ok? Ahí está la respuesta. Solo uno van a poner. ¿Ok? Con mayúscula. En la B, como ya está el punto, la oración que viene tiene que ser transformado el verbo. Entonces aquí solo me van a buscar el pasado del verbo have. ¿Verdad? Eh, en el... En el Uh, ¿Cómo se llama en el PowerPoint que les envía el grupo? Ahí aparece ese, ese verbo, ¿sí? El pasado de have. ¿Verdad? Aquí lo van a poner. Have. Pasado, ¿verdad? Y aquí el pasado de go. Supongamos que el pasado de go es 
no, no, no lo puedo confundir, mejor no pongo nada, ¿verdad? Es el pasado de go, solamente. En minúscula. Porque no está comenzando oración, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? ¿Understand, Marvin? Yes. Ok. Y ahora lo que vamos a ver es el, las preguntas con de sí y no. Yes, no question, right? For that reason, we're going to go to the, to the PowerPoint presentation. Let me share with you, right? Okay, the topic for today are simple past, yes, no question, <laughs> only this, right? Good. And the objective is going to be the next. Uh, Jose, can you read the objective for today? And me? <laughs> what do you say? No, Jose Guadron. <laughs> okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. By the end, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask an and ask where simple past yes or no question. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustrate how this topic is used in the in the real life setting. Okay, good. Thank you very much, right? So, yes, no question with the simple pass. And a conversation that it says in the real life. Una conversación que nos plantea cómo usar estas preguntas en una situación real de la vida, right? Okay, good. Now, uh, we're going to practice uh, the vocabulary. So, please, repeat after me. Anywhere. Hiking. Road, white water rafting. Good. Do you understand? Only one. Only one. Tell me, Marvin. The first. <laughs> Anywhere. What is the other the other words? Hiking. Wow. Uh, hiking. Hiking is is a verb that you you. Go up to the mountain, right? If you want to visit uh, Itzalco, Picacho, Picacho <laughs> uh, ah, okay. Santa Ana, Volcano, Chinchontepec, right? <laughs> or Quesaltepec, Quesaltepec Volcano, you know? ¿Conoce el, el volcán de Quesaltepec, Marvin? Sí, yes. tengo casi enfrente. <laughs> okay, good. El mismo volcán de San Salvador, right? <laughs> okay, so you go hiking. Go hiking, right? Good. Okay. In white water rafting. You can practice this in Apusunga. Apusunga, right? Eh, los metapanecos. <laughs> ya conocen ese lugar, me imagino, right? De Apusunga. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Ahí se puede practicar en, en, en canopy, right? Canopy. Canopy, canopy, oh, yes. No, 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 no es canopy, ¿verdad? Canopy. Es canopy. ¿Cómo se llama el, el, la, la lanchita? Rafting. Ah, pero la, ranchi, la, la lanchita que uno se pone aquí solo en, en la cintura, ¿cómo se llama? Kayak. 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 <ríe> Yo canopy estaba diciendo. Canopy es el del, el del cable, right? Ok. En white water rafting is that you go to the river, right? Ok, very exciting. <ríe> ok. En español you say eh, lo rápido, right? And road is like road, right? Uh, the past tense of ride, ride. Good. Now, this is the vocabulary today. Now, we're going to check the structure. In the yes, no questions with simple past, we use the auxiliary did in all. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Anywhere. Yes. Uh, anywhere. Ah, anywhere. Anywhere is uh, cualquier lugar. Okay, perfect. Anywhere. Gracias. Mm -hmm anywhere. Okay, now did is the auxiliary for all the subjects, right? All the subjects. 
in simple present, we, we use do or does, but in, in simple past, we use did for everything, all. For she, he, they, Maria, Pedro, Juan, Misifus, Fido, etc., etc., for everything, right? And now we have this question. Did Anna open the window? So because we are using did, it's not necessary, listen again, it's not necessary to change the verb into the past, open, okay? It's not necessary. You don't say, did Anna open the window? Eh, no, right? Did Anna open, simple, right? The base form. Right? Did she walk home? Walk home? So the verb is in present, right? And you use the auxiliary did. Did you work in the garden? Did you sing a song? Did she sit on a chair? Good, now, please, repeat after me. Did Anna open the window? Did she walk home? Did you work in the garden? Did you sing a song? Did she sit on a chair? Good. Any question? No, teacher. No questions. Okie dokie. Now, let's go to the next part. Practice. Good. So I need you make a yes, no question in simple path, right? Using these ideas. You, the castle, you know, el castillo, right? And the verb visit, right? And let me see, who is the first victim? Eh, sorry, the first student, excuse me. Who's going to make the, the sentence? It's going to be Luis Enriquez. Come on, Luis. What is the question, Luis Enrique? Okay. The castle. Okay. Okay. Wait. Did wait. you visit? Uh huh. Did you visit the castle? Excellent. Did you visit the castle? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Right. Excellent. Now, the next one. Uh, Karen. Karen Rivas. Hello, Karen. Now I need you make us a, a question using Jenny. The door lock. Lock is a regular verb, right? That means uh, en llavar o, o, o echar llave, right? Okay, Karen. Hi, go. Oh, hi, teacher. Hi. I'm sorry. I I don't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. How do you say? No le estaba poniendo atención. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Karen, me va a hacer una pregunta eh, igualita a esta, miren. Como esta que está aquí. Did Anna open the window? Did she walk home? ¿Ok? Ok. Eh, eh, usando estas ideas, ¿verdad? Ya Luis Enríquez nos dijo, you, the caso visit. Did you visit the caso? Ahora le toca a usted el dos. Jenny, the door lock. El verbo aquí es lock. Right? Echar llave. Okay. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Did, did Jenny lock the door? Excellent, right? Very good. Now, Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Okay. Hello. Okay, question number three. Esta es, eh, esta es, lleva una, ¿cómo le diría? Una cascarita, ¿verdad? Para que se yes. caiga. <laughs> Vamos a ver si, si, si no se cae, Vanessa. Okay. Did she be happy? Ah, ok, lo siento, Vanessa. Oh. Pero como es el verbo to be, el pasado del verbo to be, eh, como es un verbo irregular, es was and where. Oh, was. yes. Ya, was and where, o watch and where. Right? Was... No, pero happy. en este, dime a second, Vanessa. En este caso, le eliminamos el did. ¿Sí? Eliminemos el did. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta entonces? 
Why? Was she happy? Was she happy? Good. Was she happy? Excellent. Number four, right? Alguien me dijo why? No. Yes, no, no. teacher. Uh, ah, Alexander. ¿Por qué? Es que con el verbo tuve un verbo especial, Alexander. Ese es rebelde, ¿verdad? Es, y el que más se usa. Entonces, en, la, en las preguntas de sí y no, en pasado con el verbo to be, no usamos did. Como en el presente, ¿verdad? Usted en el presente no usa do ni does. Usted dice, are you Alexander? No dice, are do you Alexander? No, ¿verdad? No dice así. Entonces, lo mismo en el pasado. No usamos did cuando usamos el verbo to be. Entonces, eso es solo para, para que se caigan ustedes una cascarita y... En los exámenes así okay. aparecen, ¿verdad? Los catedráticos son Chucha. malos, ¿verdad? Siempre le ponen una cascarita, ¿verdad, Alex? A uno para que se caiga. Yeah. Bueno. No, ok, now. Number four. Hablando de Alex, Alex, please, make number four, please. Did Greg kick the ball? Did Greg kick the ball? Excellent. Very good. Number five, right? Thank uh, you. You're welcome. Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Ya, ya no le hemos dicho, ¿verdad, Brenda? Okay, make the, Hello, make the question. Hello, welcome, Brenda. Now, the car at the corner stop, right? Um, did... Uh -huh. um, did... The car stopped at the corner. Like a question, like a question, but at the corner. Remember. At the corner. Excellent. <laughs> Did the car stop at the corner? And notice that the verb is not changed. Right? El verbo no se cambia. Ahí está. Okay. Now, next one, right? Okay. Thank you, Brenda. Now, Janira. Hello, Janira. Now, we're going to do something special, hi. Janira. Look, hi. Mm -hmm. We are going to change this affirmative, this sentence is affirmative, right? In past. So you are going mm -hmm. to, to change it into a question. La vamos a transformar. Give me a second. Vamos a, a salirnos de acá. Y vamos a escribir, ¿verdad? Ok, Yanira, estamos listos. Hágame la pregunta mm -hmm. ahí usando es, esa oración. Is she push her bike? Uh, question mark, right? Yanira. Okay. Mm -hmm. Así está correcto o le pongo ed aquí, Yanira? Es yes, it yes. is. Le pongo id. Sí. Are you sure? ¿Estás segurita? Mm, I don't know. You don't know. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. No, no se le pone. Okay. ¿Por qué no se le pone? Porque estamos usando el auxiliar did, mire, ya mira. Cuando uh -huh. usamos el auxiliar did, el verbo no se cambia. Aquí en afirmativo sí, porque no se usa el auxiliar, ¿ve? Aquí sí se cambia. Solo en las afirmativas vamos a cambiar el verbo. De ahí, en las preguntas y en las negativas, no se usa el cambio de verbo. Solo se pone en presente, ¿verdad? Ok, now. Next one, Thank please. Thank you, Yanira. Now, Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Mr. Aparicio. Hello, number two, Oscar. Oscar. Hello, hello. Okay, parece ser que no, no, no escucha Oscar. Hello, hello. No, okay. So, Rolando, help me, Rolando. What is the question for she carried a bag? She carried a bag. Did she carry a bag? Did she carry? Carry, right, Rolando? Did she carry a bag? Or, or carry it? Yes. Like this? Yes or no? Carry. Carry, no, right? Did she carry. No, right. Carry. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Buso, Rolando. Thank you. Okay, Jose Liceo, please. 
Number three. Did we write it the part? Did we? Wait or waited, Jose Liceo? Wait, wait. Oh, okay, good. Wait. In the park. In the park. Did we wait in the park? Okay, good. Next one, please. Carla? Hello, Carla. Hello. Did the policeman arrest the TF? Ok, vamos a hacer a un lado aquí la pantallita, porque ya me estoy equivocando, ¿verdad? Ahí está. Arrested the thief. Teacher. Yes. The let ED. ED. Hay que ponerle. No. No. Oh, excuse me, Carlita. <laughs> ok, excellent. I like that, right? Lo hice, okay. lo, todos los mis movimientos están fríamente calculados. Lo hice para ver si Carla estaba prestando atención. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok. Ok, good. So, did the, did, did the pain say arrest the thief? Arrestó al mañoso, right? Did. Correct. Yes. And José, no, vamos a ver quién. Yanira ya me participó. Uh, Ricardo, Ricardo no ha participado. Come on, Ricardo. Es, Hello, teacher. Esa camisa es de la selecta, ¿verdad, Rick? Yes. Sí. Está bueno. Hay sí, que en poner. este caso es de la selección de la empresa. Ah, oh, sorry, excuse me. Ok, sí, usted, no, está, yo... usted está con Holcim también, Ricardo. No, con, ah. con Textufil. Excellent. Very good. Now, come on, the question, Ricardo. Bien, sería de we... Did fish. We did we ate ate a fish. fish. Así, así está correcto, Ricardo. Did we? O hay algo malo ahí. Pero no. al no cambiar el verbo, sería, ah, ajá, sería verbo, el, el verbo, verbo comer. Did we? Perdón, otra vez me volví a equivocar. <laughs> okay. Now, what is the we verb? Ate fish. Eat, right? Eat. 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 Excuse me. Eat. Did we eat fish? Did we eat fish? Excellent, right? Now, please, everybody, repeat after me. We're going to pronounce the, all the sentence. Affirmative and question, right? Now, repeat after me. She pushed her bike. Did she push her bike? She carried a bag. Did she carry a bag? We waited in the park. Did we wait in the park? The policeman arrested the thief. Did the policeman arrest the thief? We ate fish. Did we eat fish? Good. Now, questions? Hay preguntas de cómo usar las, los, las uh, preguntas de sí y no. No. Ok, good. So, let's go no, to the sure. platform. Let's go to the platform. Vamos a la plataforma. Ok. Here, right. Ok. Let me see. Here, right? Okay, this is the topic. Me imagino que el video ya lo vieron todos, pero vamos a, a verlo juntos. Siempre vemos los videos juntos para asegurarme que ustedes los vean junto con esta clase. Okay, now, please. Watch. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? 
Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. Now. River. Sorry. Let me see here. Now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Loved. Loved it. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. Horses. Actually, we rode horses. <laughs> horses, right? Now, repeat. And we also went... And we also went white water rafting. White water rafting on Apuzunga. No, no, sorry, Apuzunga, no. On the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We have a great time. We had a great time. Go now. Repeat after the audio, please. Hiking there? Wait. No, we didn't. I did. You were last summer? Yes, I did. Wait. My si Repeat, please. Repeat. So... Did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Oh.
Okay, now we're going to practice one by one, right? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Only Ricardo, please. Only Ricardo, please repeat. Turn your microphone on, right, Ricardo? Enciende el micrófono, Ricardo. Okay. Yes, yes. Again, listen. So, did you go anywhere last summer? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Anywhere? Anywhere? Okay, good. Now, Jose Liceo, only you. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. My sister and I went to Arizona. Okay, like, like a pause, right? Demo un pequeño pausa. My sister and I went to Arizona. My sister and I went to Arizona. Thank you very much. Carla, please. We saw the Grand Canyon. Carla? Hello. We, we saw Grand Canyon. Canyon. Good. Uh, Rolando, please. Only you, Rolando. Only you. Right. Repeat. Really? Did you like it? Really? Did you like it? Thank you. Yanira, please. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We loved it. We loved it. We loved it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's difficult. Este sonido es muy difícil, Janira. Listen. Loved. Loved. Loved it. Loved it. Excellent. Very good. Jose Guadron, please. Did you go hiking there? Did you go hiking there? Good. Now, Oscar Aparicio. Tal vez hoy sí le funciona el, el Hoy sí, ¿verdad, Oscar? Yes, yes. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, uh, repeat. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. Actually, we rode horses. 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 Okay, good. Now, Marvin. And we also went white water rafting. And we also went while weather rafting. On the Colorado River. On the Colorado River. Good, thank you. Now, Criseida. Wow. Wow. Okay, good pronunciation, Criseida. Now, did you have fun? Did you have fun? Thank you. Now, uh, Alexander, please. Yes, we did. Mr. Barrera? Sorry, sorry. No sorry, problem. teacher. Now repeat, please. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Uh, repeat. Yes, yes we, we did. did. We had a great time. We had a great time. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Jolie, please, I need you to practice the conversation with Brenda. Jolie, okay. you are Laura, and Brenda, you're Erica. Okay. Ready? Okay, okay listen. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, directly from Hollywood, California, we introduce <laughs> Yolanda and Brenda. <laughs> so, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister, I went to Arizona with up the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Do you go hiking there? No. We didn't actually. We rode horse and we had some went with weighted rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Do you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great night. 
Okay, thank you very much. Now, one more time. Let me see. Vanessa and, and Luis Enriquez. Vanessa and Luis Enriquez, right? Okay. Okay. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode, rode horses and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Good. Now, listen, listen, Vanessa. We had a great time. We had a great time. Good. Like, like you say in Spanish, Vanessa. Hey, la pasamos bien chivo, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Now, please, uh, to finish, Karen, Karen no me ha participado, ¿verdad? Karen and Edwin Ruiz. Karen, you are Laura, and Edwin, you are going to be Erica, right? Ready? All right. Okay, let me, let me make the introduction, right? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, direct, directly from San Salvador, we introduce tonight... Karen Rivas and Edwin Reeves. Yeah. Okay. So did you go uh, go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We My saw? sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Okay. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Mm, did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went white wire rafting on the Colorado River. Whoa, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent, very good. I, 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 I heard feeling, right? Escuché a feeling in the conversation, right? Okay, that's it. Now let's continue watching the video. Water rafting. Teacher, I have yes. a question. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Teacher. Ah, yes. I have a question. Uh -huh. Why uh, we are using the word actually, uh, but actually it sounds like in present and we, we are talking in past. I don't know why uh, the, we are using the, this word. Actually. Okay. Let me see. I will show you. Give me a second. Actualmente equals equals to this, right? Oh, sorry. Okay. How do you say actualmente in English? You say? Actually. No. Actualmente. Uh, I see. Nowadays. I see. Nowadays. Today. Now. In the present, right? Okay. How do you say actually in Spanish? Actually. Actually in Spanish is en verdad. Okay. La realidad es Okay? Okay. Good. Now listen. It's a coincidence, es una gran coincidencia que la palabra actually se parezca a la palabra española actualmente, pero no significa eso. Actualmente okay. Gracias. significa nowadays, today, now in the present. Otro ejemplo que le puedo dar es capacitation. Listen, I have to, I can go. I have a capacitation. Eh, incorrect, right? <laughs> capacitation no, is training. 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 Training, yes. Never say capacitation. I have a capacitation. No, training. Okay. Like you but don't cap say, but huh? capacitation uh, exists in English? I guess yes, pero casi no lo usan. Yo lo busqué en el diccionario y sí aparece. 
Pero la palabra correcta es training. Training. Sí. Training, yes. Ok, thank you. Sí, pero sí existe, creo que existe la palabra. Uh, y tiene oh, el mismo significado. Déjeme ver, porque yo me recuerdo que, que la encontré, pero en otro contexto. Vamos a ver si es cierto. O si no existe, ¿verdad? Capacitation. Ok. Eh, yes, it's, 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 se refiere a, a capacidad, a tener la capacidad de algo. Uh -huh. Como una aptitud, seguramente. Yes, yes. Eh, la, perdón, aquí dice la capacidad de descargar el esperma. <ríe> Okay, es, es bueno, aptitud. Se, se, sí. se, se, re, se referirá, teacher, como la capacidad, lo, lo que contiene en los barriles, por ejemplo, la capacidad de contención de un barril o algo así. Déjeme ver, de chance or... No, no. La, no. No, 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 no se refiere a eso. Es más que todo como aptitud, ¿verdad? Sí, pero casi... Aquí tengo otra definición, lo habla la, sobre la, el... La reproducción. <ríe> y bueno, bueno, de, dejémoslo, dejémoslo, dejemos esa palabra, ¿verdad? En no, actual, sí, no, no, training, training, training es lo correcto, training. ¿ok? Training. Y yes. ok. Sí, lo demás. Pues. Ok, good. Now let's continue. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. And now, y ahora ya no sé cómo regresar, déjeme. <ríe> eh, Ok, vamos a tener que dejar de compartir y ahora nos vamos. Aquí creo que estamos. Yes, aquí estamos. Ok, now. Let's continue. We had with a video. great time. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given. I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject. Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. 
they went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. So in the commentaries that you have here, right, you're going to uh, give commentaries about the things you, you did or the things you did in on your last vacation, right? Uh, aunque por la pandemia no sé si han tenido vacaciones <laughs> en este año, ¿verdad? Pero a un lugar que hayan ido, ¿ok? The things that you did and the things that you didn't. Esos son los comentarios que vamos a hacer uh, en el, la plataforma, right? Ok. And, let me see. Um, the knowledge check, right? The knowledge check. So, um, we're going to see it and tomorrow we're going to check it. It says, unscramble the question by putting the words in the correct order, right? Unscramble means eh, ordenar. Okay? So, oops, this is complicated. So, you're going to make a question. Listen. Eh, lo vamos a hacer así. Le voy a cambiar algunas palabras para no darle la respuesta. En lugar de watch television, voy a poner um, play football. Play football, right? Va, entonces, vamos a hacer así. Van a ordenarla primero. Van a ver que es una pregunta. Entonces, si es pregunta, vamos a comenzar con el auxiliar did. Luego, el sujeto did you. Yo le voy a poner play. No es la respuesta, pero para no darle la respuesta estoy poniendo play fútbol. Last night. Y el signo de interrogación. Así lo van a hacer, ¿verdad? Auxiliary. Subject. Verb. El verbo no lo cambia, no lo van a poner con ed. Y luego el complemento, ¿verdad? Last night. <coughs> ¿Ok? Repito, esto de play football no va, ¿verdad? Yo solo lo estoy poniendo para, para no darle la respuesta exacta. ¿Ok? Si ya tienen una idea de cómo hacerlo, igual acá. Van a poner primero el auxiliar, did, luego el sujeto, you. La acción y después de la acción, eh, la expresión de tiempo, ¿verdad? En todas vamos a hacer lo mismo, ¿eh? ¿Mm? Ok, ¿any questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas? No, ok. No, so, show. The show is over, right? Se nos acabó el tiempo, se acabó el show. <laughs> so, if you no know questions, we're going to continue tomorrow. Recuérdense que tenemos esta semana, ¿verdad? Y la otra semana para terminar la plataforma. Y que ustedes tienen que llegar al 80%. Pero, por supuesto, nadie va a llegar al 80%. En lugar de eso, vamos a llegar al 100%. ¿Ok? ¿Understand? So, have a good night. Blessings. Goodbye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.